Referencing is an essential part of university writing and academic integrity. So what is referencing and why is it important? Referencing is a way to acknowledge the sources you have used in your assignments. Using others' work without giving them credit will put you at risk of academic misconduct. This is plagiarism. Accurate referencing is important because it avoids plagiarism, shows your research and knowledge, enables your readers to track your sources, and it gets you marks. There are different referencing styles, such as APA, Vancouver, Harvard, etc. And the style that you use will depend on your discipline. Always check which style is required for your assignments. Regardless of which style you use, there are always two components, an in-text citation and a reference list entry. An in-text citation shows where you have used someone else's work in your assignment. The format of the in-text citation will depend on the referencing style. Some require you to use an author date format, like this example, which is in APA 7 style. Others require you to use numbers, like this example, which is in Vancouver style. Each in-text citation points to a reference list entry. A reference list entry provides the full details of the source you have used. These usually appear at the end of your document. This is an example of a reference list compiled using the author date format. Examples of referencing styles that use the author date format include APA 7 and Harvard. This specific example shows how to reference in APA 7 style. This is a reference list compiled using a numbered format. Examples of referencing styles that use the numbered format include Vancouver, JAMA, and IEEE. This specific example shows how to reference in Vancouver style. We have a list of guides to popular referencing styles on the library's referencing page. Each referencing style has instructions on how to format in-text citations, reference list entries, and the reference list. You must understand and familiarize yourself with the style that you are using. Let's have a look at a commonly used referencing style, APA 7. APA 7 is an author date citation style. As I mentioned before, this means that the in-text citations are written with the author surname and the year of publication, while the reference list entries contain the full details of the sources you've used. There are two levels of this guide. The simple guide provides basic instructions on how to format your references for commonly used source types. Let's have a look at journal articles. For a more comprehensive list of source types, I recommend you access the full guide. To use the full guide, select the tab for your relevant source type. Let's have a look at the articles. Another benefit of using the full guide is that it includes more detailed instructions and advice. Select the relevant tab for your source. For example, this tab demonstrates how to reference an article with one author. 